So was his action excessive? And did he have a right to pull out his gun on a perceived non-threat? Personally, I can't make an assumption based on what could potentially be a doctored video. What exactly led up to this point? Because we only saw a five second clip and for the most part that is all most of us need to come to some sort of judgment. And for most of us crying bloody outrage, it's simply because of the socio-economic optics. We saw the fictional David and Goliath story but this time Goliath was just not having it. We've heard of many horror stories here in Jamaica of people of unsound mind chopping, cutting, stabbing, attacking people for no apparent reason. So why then are we acting brand new? Yes, she begs and for the most part, she is harmless. But what about the times when she isn't? This is the same lady people that broke into KFC a few months ago. And she is also known to spit on people. And if she did stab or clot him down, on a same one here on the internet, would I say that the big man there, make that the little smuddy there, stab him and kill him or do whatever to him? So again, so I am going to ask the question, who are we to tell this man that he wasn't in some apparent threat? And who are we to tell him that he wasn't protecting life, limb and our property? Jamaicans I honestly find sometimes we are so emotional and even unreasonable FLA is investigating the matter so we will just have to wait and see on whether or not the use of his gun was used illegally. We know so many I will no longer agree but I am always willing and open to hear varying views and opinion so let's hear them.